Bonza planes that had been flying high instead unceremoniously parked at the airport, grounded along with angry customers across the country. So what do you think about that as a passenger? Crap. Some received text messages, others found out the hard way. Well, I got up at four o'clock in the morning. Around ten minutes before the boarding time, they announced that it's cancelled. This couple was forced to swap a plane for a train. It takes us uh, the whole day today. And I can't get onto a support line because everybody else is calling. In the scramble, the big carriers threw out lifelines, offering free flights for those affected. Bonds are launched with much fanfare last January, receiving an enthusiastic thumbs up from the travelling public and domestic tourism. We've got a lot of um, tourism operators that are letting us know that they have had some cancellations because of uh, the fear of not being able to, to get here. Of course I'm um, disappointed around Bonza. We want to have more airlines coming to the Territory. As discussions continued behind closed doors, Bonza released a statement saying they were working as quickly as possible to determine a way forward that ensures there is ongoing competition in the Australian domestic aviation market. The financial woes come after the company that owns its aircraft lesser tried to repossess its planes. A great operation, great business model, terrific team of people, very dedicated, passionate, professional, but it appears as though the rug has been pulled from underneath them. We've got passengers in the lurch and workers in the firing line yet again because we've got an industry, an aviation industry, which is broken. Affected passengers have been offered a full refund, but many will be out of pocket as they try to find alternatives to continue their journey. Even if the airline does bounce back, it will be difficult to restore public trust. The public confidence is shattered. With the company now in voluntary administration, it will have a hard time living up to its name. Jessica Ross, ABC News.